The Spanish Girl, Part Two, from Poems by Nora May French, read for LibriVox.org by Christine G. One. This weak and silken love that meshes me, breaks strand from strand, O branches of the hill, brave wind that whips me breathless, tear me free. The witch's cobweb clings and shivers still. Now ferns there were and fretted sun above. I plunged me where the silver water fell, but could not drown the little singing love, the little love that murmured like a shell. Swift, swift to drink my freedom at its flood, I ran with flying feet and lips apart, but love was wilder than my leaping blood, ah, louder than the beating of my heart. 2. I must not yield, but if he would not sing, my stealing hands upon my breast can feel its answer tremble like a muted string below the valued window where i kneel he sings he sings to stars and listening skies a white and haunted place my garden seems i see the pleading beauty of his eyes as faces glimmer in a pool of dreams so wooing wind might sweep a harp awake o oh, muting fingers on each quivering string i must not yield I think my heart will break, mother of heaven, if he would not sing. 3. Now bending like a windy stem I strive, yet ever onward step by step descend. The silence is a threat to the dark alive, and love how far, how far my journey's end. It is the girl who dream I leave behind, and sweeter vision never witched a maid. Into the threatening shades I wander blind. Ah, uh, Mary, help me now! I am afraid. Yet with my fears I sway and follow still. The doorway gleams the pleading magic charms. Step after step with fluttering breath and will. Step after step. At last. Into his arms. 4. Beyond this purple shadow glows My golden garden loud with bees, And windy grey and silver flows Along the slopes of olive trees. Before a sleeping flower uncurled, Before the early winds were born, I woke for joy in such a world, And with the linnets shared the morn. Remembering love, I woke and smiled, And heard the morning linnets sing, And sang for love, and they for wild, Delight of song and sun and spring. 5. Surely a brightness moves with me, For Jose's gaze is long in size, Above the pages dimmed to see, for ghosts of youth that brush his eyes. And gazing long, old Marta said, Some new device has made thee fair, Yet have I often seen these red Pomegranate flowers against thy hair. I would not have them understand The hidden thoughts that give me grace, Nor guess the lights that dreams have fanned, And read their shining in my face. But all my heart a virgin knows, Before her eyes so wise they were, I laid my secret like a rose, Mother, I love, I cried to her. 6. I had no more imagined love Than dreams the moonflower in its blue, What sun that warmed its shielding glove, What long blind eve that gave it dew, Could tell that hueless folded thing Of shining texture silken loomed, Or say what marvelling birds would sing The morning that it thrilled and bloomed. Always I knew in groping thought Some end would come, some bloom must be. The blind fulfilment that it wrought was strained from darkness restlessly, till the exquisite completion willed the answered bud the dream put by, and left the flower all sunned and stilled with sudden wonder of the sky. 7. My eyes are level with the grass, and up and down each slender steep I watch its tiny people pass. The sun has lulled me half asleep, and all beneath my breath I sing. This joy of mine is sweet to hold, Such treasures has the miser king, Who brushed the very dew to gold. Deep in the sunny grass I lie, And breathe the garden scents wind-driven, So happy that if I should die, They could not comfort me with heaven. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.